Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Love for Intuitive Astrology. My name is Michelle and today I will talk about the month of October 2022 for the sign of Aquarius. So if you have your sun, your moon or your rising sign in Aquarius, then this is your video. So keep in mind, Aquarius, this is a general reading and a lot will happen in the month of October. Okay, so sit down. I'm going to try to uh, m m create it into the most precise prediction for you. Obviously, uh, it's a general reading. So if you want to book a private reading with me, you find all the details in the description box below. But let's start and see. We start off this month on the 2nd of October, uh, where Mercury will station direct again. So wait a few days after before signing any contracts, buying new electronics, right? Wait a few more days and you will be fine. Uh, we have a beautiful conjunction between the Sun and Venus in your ninth house in Libra, your fellow air sign okay and ninth house is all about traveling a lot of you aquarius are really into traveling to the mountains going to like places where there's a lot of fresh air and on the 9th of october we have this full moon in aries and which is in your third house and the third and the ninth house are all about traveling right so some of you are going to take a trip around this time, uh, taking a break. Uh, you could start a new study, so study something new. Uh, this could be related to maybe you want to become a lawyer. Maybe you want to study like mindfulness, uh, studying uh, leadership skills, right? With areas there in the third house. Um, you're definitely a leader when it comes to being a speaker and it could also be that you're like speaking up and you're learning how to speak in public maybe you have to do that for a certain job that you have so we have this full moon conjuncting Chiron opposing the Sun and Venus so this means that there is a major opportunity for healing so healing your relationship with your neighbors, healing your relationship uh, with your siblings, but also learning how to step into your own leadership. Like maybe something was holding you back and you might go on a trip and figure out, listen, I'm going to go for what I actually want. So you're going to be more determined. On the 8th of October, we have Pluto that will station direct, okay? And it's still in your 12th house and you have been having your fair share of Pluto because Pluto in the 12th house is loses its power. Where's my power? It's gone. It's lost in the 12th house. It's lost in the collective. But when you lose it, you will find it back in other people because all the lost parts that we're, <laughs> that we're looking for we find in other people right and this is why like shamans often bring back lost pieces when they integrate like your whole self and with Saturn during the first house a lot of you had to deal with a lot or have to deal with a lot of responsibility and even Saturn is stationing direct on the 22nd of October. So we have such a big shift of energies. Um, it's almost like some of you are on the on the verge of a, of a burnout because you, you've been having a lot of responsibility. Uh, you've been doing a lot of things and things are getting a little bit too much for some of you, okay? Could be that you're moving. It's been like... You don't find stability anywhere. It's like this restlessness of going outside, going traveling, like finding your place. It's just difficult. And Neptune in the second house is like, your money is like, doo -doo 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 -doo, like slowly drifting, slipping through your fingers. But the good news is that Jupiter is going to back you up a little bit uh, around the 29th of October it will go back into the sign of Pisces, making your money situation a little bit better. 
okay so I don't want you to worry but a lot of you do have like I feel you have a lot on your mind so you need to take a break for some of you and if all of that is not enough we have Mars squaring Neptune so be aware that you're not spending too much money on a hobby that you do uh, or spending too much time or too much uh, time always spend time on your kids too much money on your kids may you know like see what really is necessary instead of buying like brands or you know buying too much you need to really save money right now like not overly spend because you will spend more than you think you do um, also energy levels are a little bit lower because of Neptune is dissolving Mars, which means that it's like taking away the physical activity because Neptune wants to detach and unite with spirit, <laughs> unite with the universe. And you know, this is happening with your money and with your energy. So make sure to have the highest purpose in mind for your money. Do good things, good deeds with your money. So it can amplify through the universe, through spirituality, okay? Um, we also have a new moon, solar partial solar eclipse in the sign of Scorpio. And this is in your 10th house. So some of you are switching jobs, switching jobs, moving for another job maybe you have a job where you need to travel for so you need to go to different places like uh you don't know work from here work from there or you're like a digital nomad but there is some destiny where you have to or maybe you're working from home right now so work is gonna be better but at the same time it's like something is gonna be taken away that's going to ground you a little bit more. So maybe you have to stay in one place for a while. Let me get you some cards for clarification. Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. So yeah, you're being really protected right now. I see like this person has a candle. So maybe it's, it's like you can burn like a candle and do a wish uh or a candle for protection sometimes it's good to do a prayer and a candle for protection from someone that wants to harm you new home new attitude what did i say like you're gonna either find a like move or you know look at this broom so moving to different homes moving to a different home cleaning your house new attitude you're going to keep it more clean more open you're on the road to success so what you're doing is really good you've been working really hard to get where you want to be okay so now it's a matter of letting go you're highly thought of and guaranteed success so uh, you're going to achieve all the things that you want okay and some things you don't achieve what you want, but you will get something better, okay? So sometimes the universe puts you in a different direction and it's not because the other thing is not good. It's just there is something else that's better for your highest good. The personal strength and peace that assures success. So take that ownership, take that power back. And you will be guided towards... Uh, higher destiny look at the sun yeah and also spend some time in nature if you can like spend some time outside time to get out of a situation and an emotional secure loving family so some of you might be expecting a child uh, so that that could be why a lot of money is going out but also getting out of a situation with work. Maybe there was some disagreement and you have to really detach yourself from this situation to resolve it. Okay, 
I also, I got all the signed some ro romance cards, so I'm gonna give you a little romance message, Aquarius. Okay. A little romantic message for my lovely Aquarius. Okay. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving in light, into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Can you imagine? Make space for something else and the universe will solve it. I feel like you have to let go of what is good for you. It will be revealed to you, right? Um, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. So maybe you're going on a trip by yourself. You're going on a trip alone. Or maybe if you're going with your partner or your friends, you need to spend some time alone to see things more clearly. Okay. Trust. I'm getting trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Only once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform, which is represented by Scorpio and Taurus. <clears throat> this axis, right? We're going to have a full moon lunar eclipse in November. So it's going to set in a whole new purpose, okay? Related to your home situation, your family situation, and your work situation. So there will be something changing, okay? Don't be scared of it. It's okay. Uh, but it will be destiny, so it will be happening anyways. So this is my message for you, my lovely Aquarius. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave a comment below how this resonates with you. I'm so, so grateful for your love, your support and everything. So thank you so much. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.